Okay. Hello. Hi. Part two. Right. So, mine's going to be a little bit more focused. It's just one, a, a, one area of uh, Laravel. All right. It's going to be about mailables and sending emails and whatnot. Okay. So, that's my name and that's my surname. All right. Just mix them up. <laughs> okay. Right. So, the obligatory uh, about me, right? I work at Apsys. Apsys. All right. We do this. If, if you've gone to. Um, if you've gone to, uh, um, I'm supposed to see the rehearsal and my notes. Am I doing? Am I using? Am I using uh, keynote properly? Hang on, sorry, uh, amateur. Command F1. Come on, come on, F. F1. Come on, F1. Come on. F. Sorry, newbie, obvious. Really. Oh, I got a mm, there. Oh. So I need to go to a uh, dom mirror. Sorry. Oh yeah. Got it. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, if if there's one way to uh, you know kind of uh, prove that I'm okay. All right, it's just uh, play, right? Yep. Ah, here we go. All right, sorry. I have to uh, edit that part out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, the company I'm working in, so it's like free advertising. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, we use an uh, iPad for the point of sale machine, the uh, menu. So if you've eaten at places like uh, the Old Street Bakute, or uh, you've gone to Timber, right? Yeah, you may have used our uh, uh, product there. So we also uh, produce kiosks for, uh, I think it's Suta's, uh, um, um, uh, what is it? Leo Fan, Leo Fan, yeah, the, the famous um, 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 roasted duck thing, right? Uh, yeah. So, so that's, that's uh, what we do. <coughs> so, um, yeah. So you can tell for the hair color, I've been around for a while. So I wrote my first program way how bad, probably before you were born or something like that. So yeah, I know. I try to look at it positive, and I was using basic. Ah, right. I'm not gonna ask hands up for who those who know this because it's like you know, it's, 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 right. So, but but most significantly in 2001, I discovered something called PHP. All right, and that that story of how I discovered this going to be over coffee or something because it's a really long story but see really interesting but it's like one of those things that goes ping, you know, the light bulb just goes out it's like ah, I can make web talk to databases <laughs> you know it's like <gasps> you know all right but so so within seven days I hooked up PHP you know, I was crazy back then I hooked it up with Microsoft SQL and I was extracting reports for JD Edwards so it was like peddling peddling reports to my accounts manager like drugs like want a report so, so I was going to extract reports for her for the ERP system on web back when internet was like SDN64. Okay, that kind of that kind of time. So yeah, all right. So yeah, I've been having fun ever since. That is like crazy. All right, right. So, um, so this is essentially going to be talking about you know Laravel and emails, but the, a little bit of background is like web applications and email. What is that over here? Right. Um, I think you'll be hard pressed to find any application right now online, web application that doesn't need to send email. Right? You sign up something, you're gonna get a verification email, you book something, you're gonna get a confirmation email, whatnot, right? So during the sign up process, um, when you reset your password, you're gonna get a nice token that you can click and go there and reset your password, confirmations of your bookings and whatnot, and uh, spam, right? Okay, so um, that's web applications in uh, emails. So for PHP, um, how do we send emails, right? All right, this one I'm going to ask for a hands up. Who's used this before? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 my deepest condolences, right? You know how, you know, challenging this is to use this, right? When it doesn't work, you, you're wondering, is it my code or is it my send mail or is it something else, right? And this is not going to be very good because you're trying to send from your laptop, it's going to try to send directly through an MTA and, in, and, and it won't work if you're running on Windows because you don't have an MTA. Right, and, uh, and and you have no PTR, reverse PTR, you know, SPF records and whatnot, and then it's gonna go to spam if it even goes through at all, right? So later on, then some nice guys gave us this, right? A nice library. I Probably some of you are still using this, right? Come on, go on, go on, admit it. Yeah, okay, I know. All right, so in our favorite <laughs> framework, all right, we have this, okay? It makes our life a lot easier, okay? All right, so. Laravel and emails. 
So Laravel gives us a nice API that's on top of the Swift mailer library. And that guy gives us a lot of ways to send emails, right? And all you have to do that is just configure this in your config mail, put in the right driver here, right? So you can use SMTP, Mailgun, Spark Post, Amazon, right? Good old PHP mail and even send mail if you have it around, right? No, okay. So, sorry? No yeah. sandwich. Where? Sandwich. No. Mm, yep, sorry. That's all you got <laughs> for now. All right, maybe there'll be new ones. Okay, so it's on top of the Swift mailer library, right? But you don't have to use it directly, okay? You can use the mailables class. So you may not have used this, maybe, you know. Uh, truth be told, I just discovered and really used this for real well, just, just two weeks ago. So I figured, hey, why not talk about it? All right, so in Laravel, every type of email you send is actually a mailable class. So if you want to send a welcome email, you just create a class to handle that type of email, <coughs> okay? And if you want to reset password email, just treat, create a mailable for reset password, all right? So it's just one class, one type of email, all right? And you create them using the artisan command, all right? And they will be stored in the app mail folder. So the artisan command also creates a folder for you if it doesn't exist, all right? Real easy, all right? So that's the Laravel side of it, right? Now, there's another component of my presentation. It's actually mailtrap.io, okay? It was like, where was this all my life? Mailtrap is an online service. I stole this from their website, don't tell them, okay? Now, during development, all right, um, when we test emails, we're not typing fake email addresses like email, email.com or you know, nobody at email.com or somebody at company.com. That's not gonna go anywhere, all right? And um, we also like to build a test with real-ish email addresses, right? But if we type real addresses, we're gonna end up spamming people. So we end up using our own email addresses and then we spam ourselves. <laughs> and then we flood our own inbox with all our tests, 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 until you miss the one that comes from your boss that says, come see me, right? <laughs> yeah, so there you go, right? So, so you clutter up your inbox, it's not nice. So Mailtrap.io is actually an online platform, all right, a service that provides you a fake SMTP server. So it's really SMTP, but as its name says, Mailtrap, every mail address that you send to Mailtrap gets trapped there. So I could just send with Donald Trump at whitehouse.gov, it gets trapped here. So poor Donald doesn't get my words of wisdom for him, you know, how to run the country, etc. <clears throat> right? Okay, so Mailtrap traps everything. So we're gonna get to looking at the interface a bit later. All right, so... Yep, uh, because it's an SMTP server, when you're ready to go to production, all you have to do is just replace your SMTP uh, server host name, put in the username and password, you're good to go. That's all you need to do. Just configure and it works. And you've already tested your classes and everything, so you already know how your email looks like. Okay? All right, so, um, right, so the next half of my presentation is actually a hands-on demo, right? So you're gonna have uh, see the actual process of how to how to how to produce this. So a quick brief run through of uh, what's going to happen during the demonstration is um, we're going to sign up at Mailtrap or rather log in because I've already signed up, right? Mailtrap IO. Okay. We're going to configure the SMTP credentials so that I can send an email to uh, through Mailtrap. Okay. Then we're going to create a mailable class in Laravel, and we're going to create a view. Now. We represent the contents of an email using views. So you can just use Blade as you've always used, right? Right, very easy. And then um, just to test if it works, quick and dirty way, do a test route in your route file, right? And just see if it works and then cross your fingers, right? If all of that works, then you start linking it to your application itself. And in this case, because it's a welcome email, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna link it all into the registration controller. So once someone registers on my site, they're gonna get an email, yeah, okay? And then if we have the time, then I'm gonna do something that, that Melvin has already uh, mentioned very eloquently later is that don't make the user wait because email would be like talking to an API, it's gonna be slow as well, all right? So we should be using queues to do these kind of things, yeah? All right, so let's do this, yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so is this um, a mailtrap.io is only usable with mailable? 
Mail? No, no, no. It's a generic SMTP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just a couple of. What am I doing? No, so not this one. Eh. Right. Uh, yeah. In a while, you're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna switch to the mirror first. Uh, the interface is pretty, pretty, pretty dang cool, actually. Okay, how's the font size? Okay, let me check. Get, get all the font sizes checked out first, right? Eh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Big enough. Okay, let's get the window down a bit. <coughs> yeah, can read that, right? Okay, sublime. La, da, 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 da. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, that's my default font size. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of eyes, you know. Uh, okay, let's got that, got that, and this guy. <coughs> I don't really need this, but. Just for the sake of argument. Have I f no, I haven't truncated this. Okay, go away. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm very not organized today. Is that being enough? I think so. Uh, okay, okay. Here we go. Right. This is a uh, clean installation of Laravel. Okay? Uh, but you notice on the top right corner, sorry, why am I just, eh, not here, da, 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 am I on the right branch? Yes, I am, okay, right. You notice on the top right, I have the login and register. No magic here, I actually just run PHP artisan make all. all right, it's gonna create all of this for you, right? Run the migration and create the user table. If you don't know how to do this and you're really curious, Look for this guy at the end of the thing, right? Okay, so I've got registration set up. It's a clean installation of Laravel. So the login works and the registration works, right? Now, uh, my database is clean. So I've got no users yet. So let's just register one guy. Myself, no, somebody. So John Smith, John at company.com, blah, 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 blah. Voila, nothing, right? So I've got a user now, okay. Right, so I've got one user now. The row ID is one. Okay, right here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so you can find the uh, as Melvin also pointed out, the the one of the really good resources, uh, honestly, the Laravel's uh, official documentation. Anyway, right? So ah, forgot to set up my Wi-Fi down here. Mm. Okay, that should work. I just don't do anything. Mm -mm. Sorry, it should still work. All right, first step, we're gonna create a mailable class, okay? So I've got a code here, CD presentation. Okay, I'm in here, I've got a code. All right, I've been playing with this, so I don't have a mail folder yet, all right? So PHP already done, all right? You can see all the available commands, all right? So it's make mail, right? PHP already done, make mail, and we're just gonna make the welcome class to send a welcome email, all right? Mail created successfully, you'll see a new folder called mail, and we'll have the welcome class here. So this is what a plain old empty mailable looks like. Is that too big? Still readable? Yeah. yeah, okay, right. So most of the magic happens actually in the build function, the build method over here. All right, now you can specify the view, the to, the subject, the from, and all these kind of things inside the build uh, method down here. Um, the documentation is a little bit sparse on that, honestly, but you actually would be better served to go to the API documentation and find the illuminate mail mailable class. And that's where you're gonna see that you can actually specify all of these properties with all of these methods. So you can actually queue it later, build, view, priority, from, to, cc, bcc everything down here. So um, uh, in addition to the uh, documentation side, so you should really refer to the API uh, documentation frequently when you're doing this. Okay, right, so this is mailable, class MT, and um, right, so we're gonna send an email to a user, so we'll need to have this to be able to read users out. So I'm just gonna use the uh, default user model, right? That lives here, is already created, all right? And in the, I need to declare a public property to hold this and then type in that into the constructor, 
Okay, and then once it's constructed, this user equals to user, right? Everybody knows this, right? Okay. So over to the yeah, give me a second. So the thing is that once you make this public, this user will be automatically uh, be available inside the view file. You don't have to do anything else. But if you want, you can actually make it protected, and then you can transpose your data a little bit before you inject it over to the, the view itself. But setting it public is a quick and dirty way. All right, it's more than four ways to do something in Laravel. OK, so now um, we're going to create a view file for, for this. So it's resource uh, views, uh, new folder emails, and then welcome.blade.php. All right, and that's going to be the body of the the email. And we're going to change this to the view file, right? So emails, welcome. I can do this as well. Blah. Mouse, emails, welcome. All right, so that's going to bring in the blade file down here. So let's very quickly punch out, punch out a uh, email body. So welcome. And we know that the um, the user table has name and email, right? That's all I need to, to use uh, you know, for this purpose. So uh, I'm just going to do a, you know, hello, um, uh, the user's name, right? This blade, right? So I'm just stick some lorem, uh, saw some lorem in here. Yeah. Yes. OK, that's fine. Ah, OK. Yeah. Right, that's this. <laughs> oh, OK, thanks. OK, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, right, right. So I've got nearly everything set up. I've got a class, I've got a view, right? I've got the object, okay? And uh, <laughs> we're going to do a quick, you know, just a quick test route. You know, there's something to punch out really quickly. So we're going to do literally just a, you know, simple URL that essentially once I hit um, test, just write closure here. Okay, and so um, the route file, so I'm not going to namespace this thing, so I'm just directly <coughs> type uh, straight up. So it's like, um, yeah, user equals those, those, those uh, pros among you is going to cringe at all the things I'm using down here, but eh, well. User, da -da, find number one. OK, done. Quick and dirty, right? <laughs> OK, yeah, 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 I know, laugh it up. Mail to user email address, right? And send, right? the new mailable class that we have, right? Welcome class. And then you inject the object inside. Follow so far? Or have I completely <laughs> lost you? All right. So as long as I hit my uh, test URL, I'm going to send an email, but I'm missing one piece. I haven't gone to mail trap yet, right? OK, so we're going to go to mail trap, sign up. You can watch the video on how it works and whatnot. So this, this screen is a little bit ugh, right? So I've, I've, I already have an account, so I log in. Oh, shoot, I need internet. Um, where? OK, somebody read to me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which one is it? P Guest at Property Guru. OK, and there's one. P G U R U I S one exclamation. Woo, touch typist. Yay. Come on, come on, work. Yay, all right. Reload. Come on. Oh, go away. Right, so when you sign up for mail trap, there are different tiers, you know, the free and then pay money, pay money, pay more money, right? Right. So this is the, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, a poor struggling programmer, so free tier, right? You get one inbox, okay, 50, uh, uh, um, 50 uh, messages, more than enough for, for, for testing. So once you get into your inbox, First thing you're gonna do is, wow! It gives you the settings, settings for Ruby, settings for Django. That answers your question, right? Hey? No. Michael, yeah. So cake, you know, configure this way, right? Laravel, configure this way. Actually, it's even easier than this, but you know, they give you all the integrations down here. How to set it up? It's like it's like real easy. Let me get right of all of this first. I've been playing with this for a while. So this is my empty inbox. You've got the, the, the help down here. Funny thing is if you use on an iPad, this all disappears. So that's half an hour of my life I'm not getting back. All right. So 
Um, you will see here your SNTP credentials. Basically, set your host to here, port number to this, this, all that, username, password, and then your encryption TLS is optional, right? We only need this and that because in the default installation of Laravel, it actually is already uh, set up. It's actually null and then null down here and then no encryption, but it actually is set up as uh, mail trap 2525 already. So we don't have to do anything down here. So let's pretend I have, I, I just I just did this, right? <laughs> okay, so my installation of Laravel is ready to talk to mail trap. Every email I send out is gonna go to mail trap, right? So what do I do now? Yep, okay, hard stopping moment, here we go. I send an email, right? So the test route loads a user, sends an email, right? Please work. It's gonna take three, four, five, done, right? No, no output. Let's see what happens. Aha! There we go. Uh, why do I get two? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Did I visit it twice? Did I? I think I may have had hit enter twice just now. I don't know. Let's, let's wipe it. Let's do it one more time. It shouldn't work twice. Mm. <laughs> this works too well. There's no BCC, right? Come on. One, one. There we go. <coughs> yes, just one. Okay. Right. You can actually see the email immediately here. Well, as immediately as your queue runs, right? So you see the HTML email, right? That we got the name correct. Yeah, we got my Laura Mipson correct down here, right? We've got John at company.com. This is all the things I specify. But why on earth does it have a from? I didn't specify this. I didn't specify the subject line, all right? That comes from the class name, okay? And this, if you don't specify it, it's gonna come from your configuration. Because come from, by, uh, from default, there we go. If you don't specify, it's gonna lift it from the configuration. So you can put it in ENV, all right? Or else take it from here, which means if you want a global from address, all right? Then you don't want to you know, literate all over your classes. The entire Laravel installation is say from Moi, right, and the name of uh, where you cite from. So you can li you can put your global addresses over here. Okay, got it. So that's 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 how it's up. But we don't want magic, right? So we're gonna uh, show you how to really explicitly um, specify everything. So we're gonna do that inside the the mailable class itself. And um, <coughs> yep. So I've got a view here so far, right? I specify the two from my route, which is gonna be your controller, right? So now I'm gonna explicitly do it down. So it's two, this user, because I've already injected it, you know, here, here, I've got it here, right? So this user's email address, right? And I can actually put his name because the, the, the two method takes two parameters. One is the actual email address, and the other one is just a string that, that's, that's gonna give you a nicer looking uh, uh, header, right? I'm gonna specify explicitly the subject line as well. So hey, welcome to example.com, and I'm gonna specify from as well to, to <coughs> overwrite the, the, the global setting. So from members at example.com, and specify a string name as well, so it's example, dot com members okay and i'm gonna just do a blind copy to support at example.com so they know okay i've got a new sign up i got support them yada, 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 yada. so i don't need this okay so right we've got all this in place right so let's go round two all right let's see what happens right go uh, 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 and dink <laughs> something fishy happening now. You something the first one where we came in earlier. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, some things, I don't know. I've done this like four times and it, mm, okay. Anyway, right, so you see my uh, better looking sub uh, subject line. I've got the, the, the from specified properly now, right? This still works, but right now I actually have his name showing up as well, right? So the content is still the same, all right? Now, so, so we've got that working, right? And uh, you notice a couple of tabs down here, which is really helpful because if you do it in your Thunderbird and what <coughs> you're gonna have to write on view source and all this, just peek around and see what what is happening. But you can actually see the HTML source just like that, you know. So you see what's going on, and you can even have a raw view file. So whoop, you know, the, the the message headers, all of this, you have you have this, all right. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave the other goodies for later, you know, just feed you bit by bit. Right, uh, let's let's ramp it up a little bit, right? This is just all text, it's so boring. Let's get some pictures into it, right? Okay, so let's get a picture. I've got, uh, well, I, I stole another image. So it's over here, all right, public images, welcome. So let's stick into the view file, right? Standard HTML, so I'm gonna use the um, nice Laravel helper for the asset, all right? Images, welcome, JPG, Da, 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 and let's do this again. Come on, give me one. One. Woo! <laughs> okay, I may, uh, I may have left something in there, but let's uh, we'll, we'll see what So, okay, here we go. So, now I have a, a horribly large image, but yes, yeah, it's like screaming, welcome. Is it All right. Debated, or is it so, this is actually a link. Right, because I use the standard uh, asset, which is going to be literally just a web page, right? So it's an asset link. So this is a link, which then now yeah, good, good, good lead in because it's going to need to go to the next mm -hmm. part of it, embedding, is right? Your BCC as well? Sorry, is the BCC coming through? Is that your second email? BCC. I. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yes, sorry, yep, yes. I did specify BCC. So yeah, so yeah. this is the one that goes to BCC support. So this one should be just to John. Ta da! Thank you. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. But it did happen before I put to BCC. That was because mm. you had the request loaded in the browser and then uh, it came with the Wi Fi and it's triggered. Oh, okay, there you go, mystery solved. I can sleep tonight now. Thank you. <laughs> right! <laughs> so, the source, right, right. So, so, so yeah, this, this is a just a normal load, right? So, so, here's another option. Some of us may not have used it before. It's called embedding an actual image, right? This means that anyone opening the email is gonna hit your web server just to load this, right? You may want this for marketing tracking. You actually may not want this if you just want it to be embedded, right? But if you wanna do it by hand, you gotta have like basic C4 encode this thing and then create a CID and like, eh, all of it, so, so never mind. Our favorite framework does it very easily, right? Okay, so let's embed this, right? Same image, but we're gonna embed this, right? So we're gonna do a different way and uh, what's gonna be different is this. Essentially, you need to pass in the message object, or rather a message property. This is a magic uh, 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 property that comes into a view of any view that's loaded from a mailable. Got it? It's, it's a magic uh, property uh, variable, right? So you will have this, all right? Refer to your uh, documentation for this, but the message uh, 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 property is gonna have, uh, um, yeah, the message, sorry. Um, embed something, right? And this one you can't use as set because you're not loading, loading it from the web. You're loading it from the file path itself, right? So it's in my public, right? <coughs> Any geniuses tell me what's the nice way to give me the public path? I just gave you the answer actually, oh. public path. <laughs> ah, that's not. But here's the thing, I remember put the slash. Public path doesn't give you the final slash, okay? Images, welcome, da 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 JPG. And that's it. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, uh, looks right. Okay, let's see if I embarrass myself again. Okay, let's drop all of these. Bye bye. Okay, let's refresh. And I'm deliberately making you wait so you really hate waiting, and then it's gonna nicely into the queuing thing. Right, so where is it? There it's coming. There we go. So it is in there, and it's a bit slower. Why? Because it's now a CID, right? It's a content ID thing, but where on earth is it? So it comes in as an attachment raw. There you go. It's a raw. So you have the CID down here. Wait, 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 wait. Not, not, the, not the guy that, that knocks on your door and say that you know you stole something, not the CID. But you know, content ID, base 64 encoded, that's my image. Multi-part mail. Okay. Good or bad, you know, it's up to it depends on your requirements. So you notice that once I embedded it's 61k, I shouldn't have deleted those, but before I did you know, before I embedded it, it's only 1k. Because it's just text, it's just HTML and nothing, right? But once you embed you 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 have a larger email. But whatever works for you depends on your needs. Okay? So just show you two options, right? Okay, so that's embedding. So now we've got all of this working, right? So let's stop using the test row and actually link it up to the registration. So if the size is bigger, what's the advantage of using the embedding? What do you get? Anybody? 
the image on it available. You don't need to rely on the connection yeah. back to the server or something like that. Yeah, let's yeah. say the person can maybe lock off the, the internet. internet. Right, let's say, okay, it's there. like the image is already attached to the yeah. mail. Yeah. 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 So the nice thing about giving presentations in a room full of tech people is sometimes you, just, you don't know the answer, just go, uh, and then boom, go four people answering you. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. Uh, right, let's make this work. Okay, let's make this work. No more test route, okay. I'll go all the way to the registration one flow. I need to get out of here. I'm not John anymore. I'm gonna register, okay, right. The, like I said, I was using the default uh, uh, authentication login registration thing that comes with Laravel, right? So that, that lives inside the uh, register controller. All right, that lives in here, okay? I didn't write this, uh, Laravel wrote, wrote this. Right, everything happens in the last one, the create method, all right? It just literally just creates a user and then returns it, right? So we don't want to have it returned too, too early, so I'm just gonna just steal this over to here, put it into a variable. User is whoever was just registered all right now i'm just literally just going to go to my come on yeah no 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 here yep so i'm going to steal this actually no sorry did i miss a step actually i don't mean nah i'm not going to that d that's melvin's world so i'm just a little bit simpler <laughs> i'm a simple guy yeah yeah i'm just going to copy this all right i'm going to stick it into the controller down here all but right yes yeah, just quick and dirty. <laughs> one at a time, one step at a time. I just, I just, I just got off from writing this. No, come on. Uh, no, 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 no. Here, come on. You know, so, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we tech guys always like to give good labels to doing actually nothing much. It's just like, uh, big words, progressive enhancement, uh, continuous integration. Yeah. And then we give a nice, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So now I'm in a, in a proper controller. I can actually just you know, start bringing in the, the namespaces stuff, right? So use. <coughs> ah, I keep telling you. Uh, right, bring in the facade. All right, and I'm going to uh, keep doing this. All right, I'm going to bring in the mailable itself. Okay, and this is making Michael and uh, Melvin fall asleep. All right, so now once I brought that in, I don't need this. And I don't need this as well. In fact, I don't need this because I've already specified the two here, right? I specified two here, so I don't even need that anymore. So we just, just like mail, send, welcome, throw a user in there, pfft, magic happens, all right? So once I create a user, I'll send and mail, and then I have to return user, all right? Because I hijacked it. Okay, so let's do Jane Doe now. Okay, Jane at company.com, da da. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. So, Jane's registering. Jane is losing hope. <laughs> Jane is getting bored. And Jane gets logged in and Jane gets an email. There we go. Hello, Jane. It works. Jane, though, it works. And better, slow, yeah, I know. Ha! Ah, it works. Okay, so. Everybody's sick of waiting by now, right? Okay, good. That was my whole point, actually. <laughs> really? Hang on, how do you, do, how do you embed a CSS style? Embed CSS style? Hey, let's throw it to the floor again. Inline, inline, inline. Wow. Traveling around. Yeah. So does Laravel provide a helper for you to build an inline version? I never went there yet. So, all in, so as far as styling your, mail, your emails, yep. as far as that goes, it's just images right now. That's as far as. Yeah, that's as far as the presentation goes, you know. Hmm? <laughs> First, we try to figure it out. If we can't do it, we make a ton of excuses. Thanks. Oh, he just tables. <laughs> oh, he said a bad word. Oh, no. Right. Okay, where was I? Jeez. Come on. Right. Let's go queues, right? All right. I'm not going to go into the actual setup of a queue. I was going to be here all night, right? So I'm just going to assume that... It works. I've got Redis running. I've got Redis on my laptop. I hope it's still running. Uh, I'm going to change my queue driver to Redis. So I'm just going to literally just make Redis handle my queue. Okay. So all I have to do is to make it listen. Please work. Okay. So now my uh, artisan is basically just listening 
for the anything that comes into the queue, it's going to handle, pick it up, and, and and do it for me, right? So how do you change from sending an email in line or rather synchronously to queuing it for later? <coughs> Just change this to queue. Don't you love Laravel? <laughs> Come on. All right, so let's what, what provided it works. Huh? Come on. <laughs> this is the most scary part of it. You see, in a while, why it's so scary, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know, two hours, supervisor, they realize, yeah, don't put the SQS in there. <laughs> Hands up if you know what I'm talking about, right? Tom, right? Tom Jones, hey, right? Tom at example.com, right? Yeah, I know, I have no imagination. Instantly, I mean, right? No waiting. Well, at least the user doesn't wait, but you know. Where's my mail? Where's my mail? Come on, work, please. Okay. Come on. Well, the user's not waiting, right? All of you are waiting. The user isn't waiting, right? That's a good thing, right? Programmers can wait, you know, so you can, you know, <laughs> check your Facebook, play a game. Come on, work. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, it does. Come on. Drama, right? Okay, so Tom Jones got an email, right, 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 right. So stick it to a queue, right? Okay. If the planets are aligned, the queue will work, like, mm -hmm. like, like now, and then the user doesn't have to wait at all. So that's how simple it is, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, so I've seen I've got you all so excited. I'm just going to throw in the little, the last bit, the bonus bit, right? The bonus bit, right? Remember the last few tabs I didn't go, right? So we have the source. We have the raw of the email, right? Gives you an analysis, woo right? Spam score, how spammy is your email? It actually analyzes for you, and it gives you all the rule names that's from like Spam Assassin, wow. all right? Zero score, good. Positive, very bad, right? So no relays, okay. I put in an image that has too few words, so mm, pretty spammy, 1.8, all right? HTML message, HTML only, no text. Ah, bad, 1.1, right? So no text. I didn't, I didn't create a text alternative of it, right? So how do we do this? Ah, all right, so here we go. We're going to need a second view file. Everything that you see in Laravel is going to be a view file. So we've got this, right? This is the HTML rich text version. Mm -hmm. Let's create another one, right? Resource, views, emails. Uh, welcome, plain, blade, plain, blade.php. I'm missing another one. So I'm going to copy this. Or oh, actually, I didn't copy all of it. Just copy this. No images, too bad. All right, we got that. Stick in here. Yep, get rid of that. Da, 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 da. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Da, 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 da. done. Right, and no images. Let's do a few lines down here, just just for fun. Okay, text. Right, I got a view file, and how do I make it work? Right, to view, right view, text and your plain text view file. Plain, 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 plain. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Okay, so let's register Fred. <coughs> Come on Fred, where are you? Register. Fred. Fred. Nope. No waiting. Now you wait here. Come on. Please work. Yeah, no, I've got time for a drink, is he? <coughs> this will work, this will work. <coughs> Have patience. So for this one, uh, you'll just run this command uh, and then you run in the background? Well, on the laptop, yeah, but not on server. You're not going to do this, right? Supervisor. As what Melvin said also, right? Setup supervisor on a Linux machine is going to kick start. In fact, you can specify like eight threads running at the same time. So you can actually process eight queues at the same time. Did it go through already? No. No! Okay, that's not good. Something, something broke. Okay, let's see what happens down here. Test. Error. There we go. Welcome plane dot not found. Welcome plane. Emails. Emails. Uh, thank you. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, so. I need a new name. I ran out of names. George. George, thank you. Okay, there you go. How do you spell George? <laughs> George. Company. Any George here? No George? Okay. 
All right, come on. Hey, Fred came in. What did I do? I fixed that. The queue fixed itself. I don't know something else. Laravel is so good, it actually fixes itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Because it crashed. You crashed, and then I went back in time. No, no, I fixed it. it. All right. It was it was a crash. It, it was returned back to the queue, right? Uh, it was picked up by another thread. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think so. We oh. tries. For the win. It it, <laughs> it makes okay. sense, you know. Uh -huh. Right. So now I have a text version. That ah, you know, yeah. George got his text version. And let's look at the analysis. Well, it was what one point eight just now. No, it was uh, two point something. So I lost the one point one. Now it's like, hey, hey, I got one point eight. It's all good. Don't worry. So it's like you can at least you have a good informational you know guide down here how to make yourself really not so spammy and get past it. All right. So nice platform, free, right? Until you need more power, and it gives you all all of this analysis stuff. All right. Um, perfect uh, marriage for 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 developers like like us. Okay. So. That's uh, yeah, essentially all of uh, all I've got for you tonight. Okay, so yep. So I've got there we go. So I've got the entire code base uh, <coughs> over in GitHub, so you can scan that, copy that, whatever. So I've I've actually broken up every stage as a separate branch. Yeah, just read the readme.md down there. Okay, okay. all right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna bounce it back to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, have you tried the, the uh, sweep now, No, not directly. Oh, okay. I just want to compare between this lame uh, Malibu and uh, sweep now, Well, Oh, it's still good one. It's gonna still use sweep now, actually, at the back. You know. Okay. Yeah, so you specify the, the driver. It's like the wrapper of the. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, yes. So it's still like the wrapper is the wrapper of the Symbian yes. component. Right, right. That's why just what the earlier slide was talking about. It's actually a, a, on top of Swift Mailer, which then provides you all of those different drivers. Yeah. Right. So, so, so the environment where, where I put in the mail trap username and password. So when you're ready to go to production, put in Google, yeah. you know, and, and username and password, and it's going to use Gmail and it's going to go out. Awesome. Right. But at least you know that your application is the one that works. If any problem, it's going to be a network issue or an SMTP issue or some other issue that's not here. But you don't have to go fudge around with a uh, uh, send mail and all of this while, while you're uh, in your development phase. You know, it's very disruptive. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. All right, that's it. Um,